I'm going to show you how to get your audio levels right in Adobe Premiere Pro. Let's hop in and take a listen to this piece of audio with Isabella. Hi Mike, it's Isabella here in our wonderful garden. Now look at her levels meters as she's speaking. Talking to you and hoping that you can do something with my audio. Now you know what, she's actually not too bad at all. She's speaking between minus 6 and minus 12. That's what I expect to see on speech. But now I'm going to make it sound really great and really quick as well. So the first thing I'm going to do is go to the audio workspace which is down here. And then I'm going to label this piece as dialogue that will automatically do some magic but auto matching loudness is the most important thing as this will get it to a significantly good level so it'll be equal with everything else and if i click auto match on all my dialogue clips they'll all come out at the same level hi mike it's isabella here not sounding too bad i'm going to switch on dynamics and i'm going to boost it focused a bit so that she's a bit closer to the mic in our wonderful garden that's great and i want to clean up some of that background noise so i'm going to switch on reduce noise and boost that up a bit talking to you and hoping that you can do something with my audio because I don't think it sounds so good. So now she's sounding Mike, focused. Mike, it's Isabella here in our wonderful garden. And we've removed a lot of the background noise. Next, we'll go to browse and we'll search Adobe Stock for garden music. Why not? Let's type in garden and see what comes up. Okay, this looks great. Chickpeas, that's interesting. Quiet in the garden. Yeah hip-hop, lo-fi. That's exactly what yeah. I'm going for. Let's go back and let's just drag and drop that track. Uh, if we want to use it later in our production, we can license it. So let's have a listen. Hi, Mike. It's Isabella here in our wonderful garden. Now, you notice I've got a bit of intro there. I want to get straight to the good stuff. So let's go to about here where it kicks in. Let's go ahead and take that and let's cut it right in from that point. So I'll just get my razor blade, my C tool here. I'll cut there and then delete the rest and budge this right to the start so we can listen to how that sounds. Hi, Mike. It's Isabella here in our wonderful garden. Okay, it's good, but the music is definitely too loud. Look at the levels meters peaking into the red and it's, it's clipping and uh, I can't hear the voice so well. So edit and we need to make sure this is recognized as music and we auto match the loudness again. And that's automatically, see, it's turned the volume levels down. And now we should have a nice, perfect mix. Hi, Mike. It's Isabella here in our wonderful garden, talking to you and hoping that you can do something with my audio because I don't think it sounds so good. Well, now it sounds a lot better. If I like, I can switch on ducking as well to duck the music further related to the, um, the, the speech. So if I go ahead and make sure the sensitivity is reasonably high, duck amount doesn't have to be so much. Let's turn it down by about 8 dB. Fade duration should be fast, I think. And then we'll generate the keyframes there. And if you look, actually, if we drag this open, you'll see keyframes generated where there is speech. Hi, Mike. It's Isabella here in our wonderful garden talking to you. And it turns the music up and down when there is no speech detected. It's very, very, very clever stuff. And then finally, I'm just going to show you over here on the mix channel. This is the mix channel. By the way, I'll close this up. This is how it looks by default in the audio track mixer. The mix channel is the overall mix of all of our audio tracks. And if I pop this open and go to the effects panel here, I can go to special and add in a loudness meter that allows me to look at my levels and decide if it's the correct volume for the platform I'm sending my video to. So if this is going to YouTube, I select the YouTube preset. And if I look in settings, I'll see the target loudness is minus 14. So we want to get the integrated number to be minus 14 as I play back. Let's see. Hi, Mike. It's Isabella here in our wonderful garden, talking to you and hoping that you can do something with my audio because I don't think it sounds so good. OK, you can see we're integrated at minus 16. So let's reset those meters. Let's move the loudness meter down a notch and let's add in amplification here. Amplitude and compression, amplify. And we're just going to turn that audio up by 2 dB and just see what happens now with the loudness meter as I've boosted up my amplitude. Hi, Mike. It's Isabella here in our wonderful garden talking to you and hoping that you can do something with my audio because I don't think it sounds so good. And look at that. We're bang on at minus 14 loves exactly where we should be. And that's how you get all your audio levels absolutely right and perfect in Adobe Premiere Pro. If you are watching this video, you probably really like audio in Premiere Pro. You should definitely watch the basics of audio editing in Premiere Pro. It's on your screen now. Go ahead, watch that and keep learning more about audio in this awesome video editor.